uh, everyone so uh, this is 15th question uh, in which in list 1 they have given us some rate expressions and in list 2 they have given some plots of different properties like half life rate or variation of concentration with uh, time so we have to match out of the uh, given uh, uh, we have to match rate loss with the properties or the plots given in list 2 so in this question they have not uh, it's one to one matching only although for one there are multiple uh, matchings possible so it is always uh, advised to solve such problems through the options because they have not anyways taken all the possible answers for uh, one answer in list win, uh, list one from list two. Uh, so if we check uh, option wise, so first let us modify these rate law expressions with the help of the given restrictions. In first they have not given any restriction. So it, it is advisable to not use this because they haven't used any restriction so i won't be able to get any concrete answer because uh, for this right now the rate law is uh, I, I cannot define rate of this reaction as first or zero or second reaction so it is always advised to use those expressions where you can uh, convert them or modify them into zero or first or second reaction because we know their rate law expressions and we know their properties by heart so in second case, uh, they have put one restriction that the initial concentration of X are much less than than the, uh, the, the constant X is. Here X is, is a constant, K is a constant. So if concentration of X is less than X is, so this can be written as K X upon X is. X is, is a constant, K is a constant, so this becomes a new constant K dash into X which means this rate law is modified to a simple first order rate law under these restrictions of uh, concentration of x less than x s. So now we know that second option is simply a first order reaction. So in second, uh, the properties of first order we know that the half life for first order is independent of initial concentration. So for the second, Q will be correctly matched and uh, the variation of ln x and time is linear with negative slope the variation of concentration of x and time is exponential so if we match for the second uh, they have used only q and s right so q is possible but s is not correct for second because second is a first order reaction and for first order reaction, the concentration varies exponentially, not linearly. That is a property of zero order reaction. So we can immediately rule out option B and D because in these two options, second is matched with S, which is definitely incorrect. So now we have to choose between A and C, which can be easily done uh, with the help of third. In third, let us modify the rate law expression the initial concentration of x is much higher than the constant x is. If this is much higher than the sum of x is and x can be written as x and x gets cancelled. So this is nothing but k which means it is modified to a zero order reaction. And in a zero order reaction, the concentration varies linearly with time. It decreases linearly with time. So for third one, S would be correct. In A, for, in A option, third is matched with S, but in C, third is matched with Q. So this is also ruled out, which means option A is correct, and we did it by elimination. Let us verify fourth also. In fourth, they are saying initial concentration of X is much higher. So we can write this as X KX square upon X that gets cancelled. So it is KX which again is a first order reaction and of course for first order reaction t is correct ln x would vary linearly with time with negative slope so the correct matching for this question question number uh, 15th would be option a